Well, Vicki, that woman was pronounced dead on this block right here behind me, and this is where she lived. As you mentioned, the man that police identifying as her boyfriend, he was also stabbed, but his injuries were not as significant. In fact, he was able to talk with police and identify the suspect as their roommate. And just about a block away on Ralph Avenue, that man was taken into custody around 3 this afternoon. Now, we do know police responded to a call of a burglary in progress in that block, but police are not releasing the exact details of how that suspect was located. Our cameras were rolling as the suspect, seen in a blue shirt, was led out of that home on Ralph Avenue and taken into custody. At this point, what led up to that deadly stabbing has not yet been determined, but we do know all involved parties lived at that home on Neblet Avenue. And while the stabbings did occur inside, the victims were told were able to make it outside where the man began yelling for help. And it's that man that police say tonight was critical in identifying their suspect. You know, our officers got on the scene. We quickly talked to the victim, see what happened, see if we could, you know, get some information from him. He was able to advise us that, it, you know, the suspect. Uh, then we had a witness on scene that was also trying to give some kind of medical aid to the victims. Uh, he was also able to give us information. And then uh, the officers acting quickly, doing what they're trained to do, and to help with the Louisville Metro Police Department. Their canine unit was out here helping us. Again, that suspect who lived in that house with the two victims here on Neblet Avenue was taken into custody some two hours ago, just one street over on Ralph Avenue. Tonight, Eric Vicky, no word on charges. Reporting live for you tonight, Ian Shively, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.